coming off some hefty amounts of rainfall Friday into Saturday, more so on Friday. And we're not done yet. Today we're looking at excessive rainfall for a decent amount or a decent portion of the Q2 viewing area. What are we looking at? What does this mean? It's a marginal risk of excessive rain. That means these shaded areas, including buildings, a 5% chance where we could see enough rainfall to lead to some flash flooding. And that's why we do have a flood watch that will kick in at lunchtime today through tomorrow evening. We have a marginal risk for some for excessive rainfall tomorrow too. That's why we're going to hold on to that watch through tomorrow evening. What about severe weather? Well, we're not out of the woods on that either. Now keep in mind, this could change this afternoon. I'm seeing some models try to ramp things up just a bit. So you can see that slight chance of uh, severe weather down there around Gillette, just, just on the fringe of our Q2 viewing area. That could migrate up into the area like Sheridan, be on the lookout because that could make it to your area. But right now we're gonna go with a marginal risk. Still, you gotta keep your eye on the sky because it could get kind of nasty out there. So timetable, always asking for timetables. Uh, well, 3 p.m. until about 9 p.m. tonight give or take an hour on either side. What are we looking at in terms of severe weather for those green shaded areas, which right now remain to the south and southeast of uh, Yellowstone County? We're looking at quarter size hail and we could have gusts up to 60 miles an hour. Not to say areas outside of that won't see some strong storms today as well. So keep an eye on the sky and stay weather aware.